I think an enormous conspiracy is at work here. No one knows this story. This is the scandal of the art world. Barnes was way ahead of his time. He collected some of the greatest art in the history of the world. The Barnes Foundation is the single most important American cultural monument of the first half of the 20th century. They've got more Cezannes than are in the entire city of Paris. There's 181 Renoirs, 59 by Matisse, Picasso, 46. It is the greatest act of cultural vandalism since World War II. I had a, an art handler there, and the first time she picked up the Van Gogh postman, and she sat on a bench and she cried. Barnes wasn't interested in a mass experience. He was interested in a quality experience. He established his foundation where he did to get it away from Philadelphia. We've got this magnificent collection being hidden away from the world. There was a vast conspiracy to move the barns. Down in Philadelphia, 10 times more people a day can be able to see it. Barnes turned to the best lawyers he could find to draw up his will. The collection shall never be sold, shall never be loaned. Once everybody's dead, they'll do what they want. The whole establishment wanted to capture the prize. They wanted to move the barns to downtown Philadelphia. Who speaks for the art when so many political forces are at work against it? These are not people who are concerned about the art. These are people who are concerned about money. Culture has become big business. Culture is an industry. It's about who controls $25 billion worth of art. It was Barnes art. And these people, these vandals, stepped in and took it away from him. The forces wanted it moved no matter what. Philistine! It'll be a tragedy, and it'll be a tragedy long remembered.